How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest series. I just noticed as I was starting the game today that we are 44% through. I don't know if that is progress towards uh, the end of the game or if that's just like world progress. Like we have explored 44% of the world. I don't know. Either way, eh, we're about halfway through the game. So it's not a terribly long game. It's not going to be a terribly long series. Uh, if we look at our map, we are headed west, northwest, up into the Misty Woods. So we'll be making our way up there. Um, I think... Do we just teleport up to the Hollow Grove? Or... Do we see if we can go get some of these ability cells now? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take the long way. So we can get some of these ability cells. Because those ability cells, those are free ability points. It's not like collecting lots of spear light. This one's up a little bit higher, I think. Oh, you know what, you know what, you know what. I know how to get up there. I know how to get up there. Our brand new trick that we learned last time. Oh, but you know what? How do we open this thing? Oh, right up there. Yeah, yeah. So exploring, uh, what was that place called? Black Roots Burrow. And getting those two new skills that we got, Dash and Light Burst. Those are literal game changers. <laughs> they have literally changed the game that we are playing. All right, let's head west and we'll pick up the Spirit Light next. That's pretty cool. The the stomp like changes the direction of the little spikes that are coming towards you. That's pretty cool. I guess you could use it defensively in that case. Ah, fish. Oh, that was enough to unlock. Oh, look at that. I guess we had some uh, ability points stacked up last time that I didn't spend. Let's do that now. Five ability points. Wow. Okay. Uh, I think I determined we were done with the cyan branch, so I'm just not even going to bother looking at that anymore. So spirit efficiency increased the light, the spirit light gained from absorbed spirit light. So okay, that's our XP bonus. Getting life markers and energy markers to show up on the map would be really nice. That's not super urgent though. We've been finding a good number of those on our own. This might be more of a in-game sort of thing. Um, if we feel like we just don't have enough energy or just don't have enough life, maybe we unlock these and go find the ones that we've missed. I think we turn our attention offensively now. So let's go light burst. And then we'll increase the strength of spirit flame, which will make us deal more damage. So we've got two more on this path that only cost two ability points. And then the last ones, they cost three each. These start getting super expensive. Oh, further increase spirit flame damage to allow to hit four targets at once. That's amazing. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so much power. I know, we're also like back at the very beginning of the game where the enemies are not super strong. There we go. Life cell. Look at that. Uh, I think we've got to do our little energy bash trick again. And with that, we can go ahead and unlock another skill. Ability. Ability. Skills and abilities are different things in this game. And I need to keep that straight. Uh, let's see. We can uh, energy burst whatever it's called through that. Wow, look at that. There's two up there. Uh, but there's no, there's no reason to. I'm not going to bother. Okay, next up, Ultra Stomp. Uh, yes. Been getting some good use out of my stomp lately. Definitely kick that up a, a notch. <laughs> Literally every single episode I start recording lately, I get about five or ten minutes in, and I'm like, oh, did I start recording? And I have to look over at my recording software. I'm like, oh, good. Oh, good, okay. 
All right, if we want to head up there, I think our best bet is to go up this way, and then now we can get through this energy gate thing. This is so much easier than it was when we first came across this at the very beginning of the game. I still don't quite, oh, oh, that's how we get up there. So we need to do this thing. Yeah. We couldn't see that the first time we came up here because we couldn't double jump. Nice. And then if we head up here, we can get through this thing now, which like almost completely depleted our energy. Get out of here, crow. Oh, there's a energy cell right down there. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pick that up. This, I don't know what purpose this rock serves, but I made a comment a few episodes ago that stuff like this isn't just randomly placed around the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and push that down there. I'm guessing... Oh! I, th I was thinking there was probably thorns down here. That's even worse. <laughs> I'm really glad we did that. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we're doing okay with energy and life cells on our own without having to reveal those on the map. What else we got over here? I think this is just going to lead us back up here. Get out of here. Okay, how are we going to get up there? I think I need to bash my way up. I don't think I can double jump over this. Let, let, let me put it this way. I don't think I could double jump over that. <laughs> huh. How are we going to hit this thing? Ah, like that. Because you can't really aim your uh, light burst while you're wall jumping. It just sort of dumps it out. Okay. So we can swim because this water is clean. Is this guy going to drop down on us? Doesn't look like it. Uh, but we can't reach it from down here. I think we need to get up top and then bash off of those guys. Oh, I'm almost out of oxygen. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We'll save. And then we will bash, bash, what, what? All right, we'll head back up here to access our soul link. And do we go with rapid flame? Allows the spirit flame to be fired more rapidly? Uh, yes, yes. Look at that, we've unlocked like four abilities in five minutes today. That's amazing. Woo! A little acrobatics. Oh! All right, onward and upward. So, at the very top of this, I mean, there's some spirit light. I'm not going to go out of my way for spirit light anymore. With how much spirit light we would need to unlock another ability point, it's just, I don't think it's worth it anymore. I'll go out of my way for the energy, for the uh, ability cells. And I'll certainly pick up spirit light that I run across. I'm just not going to go out of my way for it. All right, so now we need to go with this, this away. Ooh, speaking of ability cells. Man, there's so many back that way. I'll go collect those at some point. I'm not going to do like a ability cell sweep right now.
Whoa. That was close. So this looks like something that can be opened, but I can't stomp it. There's got to be a lever or something nearby. These guys, you can actually bash their thing back at them, which is kind of cool. You just got to be careful about where you end up shooting yourself in the opposite direction. I'm guessing this opens that door back there. Oh, no, it opens something up here. Okie dokie. We will head up that way, see what's behind door number one. Boosh! Boosh! Some spirit light down here. Oh boy. Alright, so this is, we're still headed in the right way. I don't know if going up is the right way or if we need to go back down here. Uh, since we're over here, I'll just keep going this way. I'll do a little uh, bashing acrobatics here. Ooh, it's a road sign. Misty Woods. All right, that is definitely where we are trying to go. Let me soul link. And I want to go back and see what's up here. Oh, that's so powerful. So powerful. Oh, no. Thanks for the lift. How do I get through that thing? No, nope, not like that. Where are we going? What's up here? And how do I get through these? I don't remember. I th I'm guessing... What else have we got over here? We got this little parachute thingy. This just lets us hold on to walls without having to wall jump. Uh, I don't know what this is. I was just wondering if any of these skills would help us bash through these things, but I don't remember how you get through those. Whoa, boy. Ooh, tight squeeze. Oh, these guys shoot three. What? Ooh. I'm like really low on health here. My goodness. Where is this taking us? I feel like I'm on an episode of So You Think You Can Bash. As long as Kuro is out there, the path to the Misty Woods will be blocked. But look up there, we might be able to distract her if we loosen that rock. Were we supposed to come this way? I'm, what, I'm curious what would have happened if we just kept going left. Interesting. I feel like there was something back here. Oh, it was just fatality. Which I need, I'll take it. Yeah, I have no idea how you get through these things. I may have to go look. Not that thing. Uh, these things. These things. I may have to go look. Oh, this is where there was something else. There's something else right here. Let me go back and explore that. Ooh. Going up is hard enough, but going down in an area like this is doubly hard. Oh! Oh! Oh, you know what? Mm, that hurt. 
Oh my, I don't even think we can get up there. Oh, you know what? There we go. Hello. That was kind of worth it. All right, so the last two offensive abilities both cost three. So we could either save up for Charge Flame Blast, enhance the radius and attack damage of Charge Flame. I haven't really been using that much offensively lately. I've been using Stomp a whole lot. So that's not super critical, but would help us to get to Ultra Spirit Flame. Or do we start going back towards exploration? Um, let's go ahead and head down this path. I, I prefer to take a little bit more balanced approach to, this, to most games. All right, let's head back down. And back up. That is such a cool skill. I love it. Grab this vitality over here. And then we just won't give Mr. Spider the time of day. Alright, we'll go through this little dialogue sequence again. So, I'm guessing we can stop that to knock it loose. I know, I know. I, I have played this game before. I should know these things. <laughs> it, it has been a year or two since I last played this, and I don't remember every little thing about it. Play it cool. You collected Kuro's Feather. To use this item, press space and then press shift. Kuro's Feather will allow Ori to glide freely or ride wind currents. So this basically lets us glide. So while we're in the air, we can glide. This will help us cover large distances. And like the little dialogue thing said, we can also um, catch air currents to like lift up in certain places wherever those happen to occur so we could go back down That's, I don't know how you get this I'm not going to go back for it right now uh, but I'm guessing if we had gone this way to begin with then we would have come up here and been like oh well we can't go any further let's go back alright so we'll just yeet ourselves off the ledge here <laughs> So as Mr. Ominous Voice Dude just said, our map doesn't seem to work so well in the Misty Woods. Whoa! Yee! So yeah, even if we go a little bit further in, Nothing's being revealed. Oof. So yeah, we're on our own in this area. It's kind of spooky. Ooh, look. <laughs> We got like just a little sliver of our meter left to fill up here. The shrouded lantern. This mysterious haze bellows out of its stem. If we find a way to light it, the path might clear up once again. All right, so we need to find a way to light this thing. So we've reached our destination. It's not telling us where to go next. We just need to find a way to light this thing. Find the Gumo seal hidden inside Misty Woods. 
All right. Well, onward and upwards, my friends. There we go. There's our next ability point, which we can't actually use right now. Some free spirit light. These things seem to be rewarding more and more spirit light. And we're further into the game, so that makes sense. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> of course, checking my map's not going to do any good. That was a safe place to land, but it was not. Almost ran into those spikes over there. Uh, oh yeah, we've got our new <laughs> little glidey thing. Nice! Look how big of a gap we can cover now with that thing. That's awesome. We'll save. That's really cool. Ooh! Oh, keystone. Yes, please. What? This is not the same. This is not the same. The woods just changed on us. Oh, this is trippy. This is very, very trippy. Gently glide safely through all that mess. That thing's gonna be super useful for navigating those sorts of areas. Like when I went back over here, when I went back down through this area, if I'd had that feather to glide, that would have been so much easier. Oh, it just keeps changing. That's actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie. That's really, really fun. Let's head up here first to see if there's anything like an ability so uh, let's see. We can unlock life markers. Next up is the energy markers. Sense costs three ability points. As I said previously, probably don't care about sense. Probably don't care. If we can reveal literally everything else on the map, we can reveal spirit light, ability, cells, and then if we get life markers and energy markers, we're going to know where everything is. So what do we care where the hidden areas are? We, we can find them. So let's go and do life markers. Yeah, I don't know if there just aren't any in the Misty Woods, but I'm expecting... If there are, that they won't show up on the map. <laughs> that would seem to go against the theme if they did. Let's uh, see if there's anything up here. Nope, there's just a giant branch right there that I couldn't see. Right back at you. I couldn't tell if those were spikes or leaves. So I just jumped into them. <laughs> Ooh. At Sue's torch, it was lost in this place. If we carry it to the shrouded lantern, it might show us the way. And how do we get down there? Ah, uh, of course. We just have to rely on the woods changing every time we get stuck somewhere. Oosh. 
Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh! That hurt. No! I want to go back up! But I don't want to get hit in the process. Oh, what was that? Oh, I don't know where else. There was no good place to go there. Oof. Man, I am. Oh, I am getting beat up left and right over here. Dying is no fun. I should, uh. I should try to avoid it. Oh! It's hard to see these things coming from above. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't make a soul link here. There's enemies nearby. Eee. Can I make one in here? Hopefully. Yes, thank you. Save a little bit further in and get some life back. I, I'm actually going to wait for this to refill again and soul link again to get a little bit more life because right now I need vitality and not energy. How are we doing on deaths? 32? All right. My goal, <laughs> and maybe this is ambitious, but my goal, sorry, it's getting hot in here and I had to take my sweatshirt off. Don't worry, I'm still fully clothed. My goal is to beat this game without dying a hundred times. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Who knows? Oh! Oh! Maybe 150. Whew. Wow, that was tough. That was really tough. All these really cool vines in the foreground are really messing up my view. Oh. <laughs> I'm just hitting everything today. <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. I'm gonna go back down. There was something over here. Oh, I can't get there. That's something I have to bash from above. There's no secret entrances over here. These guys, these guys that shoot the little spiky things, they're everywhere. So many. Hey, oh, what do we have here? Tatsu used to climb the mountains high atop Sorrow Pass. When her brother's torch faded, she fell to the mists where she lost her path. You've learned Climb! To use this ability, press and hold Shift when you're against a wall to travel along its surface. I really struggle with this one. Because I'm holding Shift and so I'm not sliding, I'm not falling. You can also climb up and down. It's really cool. I just, I don't know, I really struggle using it for some reason. Ooh. Ooh. So these mushrooms appear or disappear depending on whether or not I've jumped. I guess this, this is a ways, the game's way of saying, here's how you're going to learn to use climb. So if I jump off of this, 
the mushrooms are going to vanish, so I have to climb rather than wall jumping. It's clever. I don't think my stomp was reaching him. So I wonder, I don't know what this is, but I remember something where if you are holding onto a wall, you can like dash off of it. I don't remember how you do that though. <laughs> How did we do that? <laughs> Somehow I knocked him backwards. All right, more jumpy jump mushrooms. So it doesn't appear that double jump causes them to double change. Ooh, that's not a good placement for that guy. That's uh, Soul Link. It's been a while since we've done that. I think it's because Shift now has a dual purpose. You can glide and you can wall climb. And so I think I just get mixed up. Hmm, that one's not vanishing. Oh. Whoa! Okay, good to know. Those are only going to stick around for a few seconds. Eee! Eee! What is going on? Who designed this place? Willy Wonka? The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Okay. I guess now we go back. Of course. Let's change the forest out from under you. Why not? Get out of here, you green slimy thing. Ooh. Alright, that just took it up a notch. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's come back here and reuse our soul link. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Alright, next one's right here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, you know what? Okay, so we can't jump. So if we jump, we're going to lose the platform we're standing on, and this one. And we're going to be trapped between two beams. I think... I think we just run off and glide. Heyo! Here's a 190 IQ. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Slow down, slow down. Wow. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Better than that guy. <laughs> Back to Cinder. Whoa. Okay. Yep. There's spikes there. I have no idea where we are anymore. I just keep following the spiky labyrinth that tries to kill us. I have no idea where we're going. Ooh! Wasn't quick enough. Hesitated too long before moving. So, Link. Yeah. 
easy does it. Up or down, folks? We go up or down. Oh, I guess up. I guess up. <laughs> Actually, we can go this way if we uh, jump and bash. Okay, what was the point of that? Ooh, that was close. Is what is the point of this? Why would we want to get up here? Is this just to kind of give us a boost to get across here? We don't need it. Ooh. How do we get to that thing? I keep checking my map like there's going to be anything there. Oh, is it going to pull the old switcheroo on us? Yes! That's why it's there. Now is there a secret entrance? Maybe that uh, sensibility... <laughs> Has a has its place. Yeah, I don't know how you get down to that. It's just spirit light, so I'm not gonna obsess over it really. If it were an ability sphere, I would try a little bit harder to get to it. You know, this uh, this climb where you don't have to keep jumping, it has its, its uses. This place never ends. I think this is our new home. I think we need to go get a job in the Misty Woods. Misty Woods is our new address. We'll pick up some change of address forms. Find a nice little spiked tree to settle down in. Somewhere without too many leaping frogs. Oh, what's up here? Uh, is this a lantern that we can like shoot? Yes. I will take it. Um, let's soul link. Oh, come on. Oh, that's why I went to Soul Link. Come on. And now I have no idea where I am. Oh, we're all the way back here. Gee, can't do that. Can't just pop up where I'm about to land. Did your mother teach you any manners? Can we come at it from this side? No. It looks like there's a little secret entrance over here. So you can see the foreground here isn't moving up and down the same as this little spot. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can do that. And maybe we can reuse our soul link. So the next time we die, we're not restarting so far back. What?
That stomp destroys all those spiky things that stick to the ground, which is really handy. A little uh, environmental cleanup. I'm probably still going to wall jump most of the time if I don't have to climb. Oh, there's just something about holding down space while trying to do it, or a shift while trying to do other things. I just lose track of what I'm doing. Ooh, nice. We will spin this. Let's go ahead and let's unlock energy markers. I don't think any of this stuff's really going to help us right now in the misty woods, but I want to go ahead and do it anyways. You know, that little light burst that I've been using to get around really quickly came from the Definitive Edition, and I use it a lot. <laughs> and so I'm very curious if there are other parts of some of these normal areas that have been changed to add places that are only accessible with that. And obviously, 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 this little lantern that I had to shoot my spirit light at to activate the door. Obviously that came with the Definitive Edition as well, because, like, why would that have been there without the, the light burst to trigger it? But even aside from solving those sorts of little puzzles, I'm curious. Uh, I'm just curious. By nature. Curious person. Are we still going the right way? <laughs> what is going on over here? Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's do this. Second try. Third try. No! Third try. Yee! 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 Just slow down, Dave. Take it easy. You're not in a race. Is this just going to lead me right back around to where I already was? Is this... Isn't this where I was just a little while ago? I feel like it was. Can't check the map. Like this stuff, when I use this to get across large gorges. Oh! Save. Yeah, I feel like I took a shortcut and then went back to go the long way. I think that's what happened just a little while ago. Oh, hello! Hello! Oh my goodness, there's two of them. Take that! Surely, 
Surely we've got to be close to the end of this thing. Picked up four keystones. There's our little glowy light thing. Oh, do we have to carry this now? What if I just don't? <laughs> what if I just leave it? Is that okay? Can I just leave it? I've already decided that this is just going to be our new home. I can't... I can't climb, I can't wall jump, I can't double jump. Oh my goodness. Seriously. What? Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna dare drop this thing because I don't want to go back to where I first picked it up and have to go get it again. Goodness. Be done. Be done with this foul and wretched land. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. It's a beautiful forest. I love it so much. Ooh, shiny. We lit the shrouded lantern. It lifted the haze. Ori, the key to the forlorn ruins. The Guman seal has been revealed. You found the Guman seal. Using this key, you can gain entrance to the forlorn ruins. But why do we want to? Why do we want to go there so badly? The element of winds is deep within the forlorn ruins, south of this place. It's not too far from here. I can show you the way. Please do. Valley of the Wind, which we've somehow managed to explore 32% of. Interesting. Alright, so here's where we're at now. <laughs> there is no way! No way! This is the entire Misty Woods. <laughs> that area that we just spent the last 45 years of our life exploring was only this big. Okay. Aren't magical forests magical? That's so great. Alright, I think this is a fantastic place to wrap things up for today. It's a really good uh, sort of milestone. Uh, we're getting pretty late on time, so I'm going to go ahead and soul link to save. And we will wrap things up here. Next time we'll make our way down into the Valley of the Wind and see what awaits us there. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please hit that like button. And while you're down there, feel free to subscribe so you'll get notified of future episodes as they come out. Thank you all so much and have a great day.